Chris Trot here with Team TaylorMade. I have three fine athletes in front of me, Charlie Hull, Harry Higgs, and of course, Mr. Sergio Garcia. This is the attack zone. It plays right into Sergio's wheelhouse. One of the best players in the world from 100 to 125 yards. He's had a little practice shot. As you can see, he's tucked it quite close. I'm gonna hand it over to him. He can talk us through what he does from, this Serge is playing from this spot, 117, 121. Yeah, well, here we have, uh, thanks. Hopefully I'll be able to hit the green. Hopefully you can build up for that. that. <laughs> I like your chances, Sergio. I like your chances. But uh, yeah, here we have a little bit of a downhill side hit lie with a left to right. Feels like a little bit of help right now. So, I mean, obviously this win is going to make it a little bit tougher, but you know, at the end of the day, Distance control, distance control is the most important thing in in this kind of condition. So I'm going to be hitting the 52. Which Higgsy pulled us up on that just off camera. Yeah. You only carry three wedges, right? Yeah, always. I've always, uh, my whole career, I've always played with three wedges. I feel, I don't know, I, I've, I was never a fan of 60. So I've always liked uh, 58, 52 and pitching wedge. And I always felt like, with a 58, I could always open it and have a 60. But uh, the way the gaps work for me with this three, with this combination was better. So do you get a lot of in-between yardages? Yeah, or? which one's your bad number? Well, I mean, I think it depends on it depends on uh, the firmness of the greens. Sure. If, if the greens get soft, then if I'm yeah, if I'm uh, 100 and, 112 or something like that, 115. You know, it's it's like the 52 might spin a bit too much, so I might have to hit like a little wedge or something like that. Uh, or, yeah, or if it's like 102, 103 yards, you know, I might have yeah, to hit like a little 52 instead of the 58, so. That's impressive. As a man that's carried four wedges for a long time, <laughs> that's, I don't know. it's impressive. That's, that's the way, that's the way I, I, I was brought up and the way I've always done it. And, you know, Sevi didn't even have a, he had a 56. That was the yeah. The most he's he's kind of the exception to all he rules. Was, yeah, <laughs> he was good. So breeze like this off this down bank, wind, golf ball. What are your thoughts to control that spin here? Uh, well, right here, the good thing is the wind is uh, it's kind of helping a little bit. If it was into the wind, then it'll be I'll probably have to hit a pitching wedge. But uh, because of that, I don't think it's going to spin too much. So it's going to be like a solid kind of three quarter uh, 52. Uh, try to kind of try to keep it away, uh, away from that win and you know, see if we can hit it close. What's 52 go full out? Uh, about 125. Yeah. So you're probably looking probably 112 yard shot and then give it a little, give it a little wind. Yeah. Give it a little, give it a little gust, give it a little push forward. Yeah. Show me Serge. Should I go? I think yeah. we're all ready. All right, let's go. Enough talking, now we Let's do some see. hitting. Hopefully I didn't waste my, my good ball in the practice. We've still got it up there, we can see it, mate. You've got the stats to back up that you got this as well. Go. The wind oh, is knocking like it well, down, it. yeah. I, think that wind I don't think that of... was you, Sergio. I think that was a bit of wind. I think the wind has kind of switched a little yeah. bit. Yeah. First one got there easy. All right. Yeah, well, we definitely had more down. Just I a feel like the ago. caddy would be in trouble at this point, and I'm the one holding the club. <laughs> so. On that second one, yes. It might be me. I might yeah. be getting. But that stuff, it. It, sadly, we can't control, and it's part of this <laughs> lovely game that we yeah. play. So I just let there that is. dust off my back, is what you're saying. Yeah, you, you, hold your head high, Trotty. <laughs> there, there it is. is. Go. Still short. Looks like he's just hitting it. Okay, I was going to hit 56 and just hit it hard, but I'm not going to do that now. Charlie, you get in there and talk to us about it. You said that you don't feel like your game puts you in this position, like you like to be a lot closer with your wedges. Yeah, I do. Um, I'm usually, I don't usually lay back on par fives. I'm always getting me near the green, which is my advantage. Um, I actually looked at the stats this year, I'm leading the, I was leading the Eagles, but I think it's because I'm always down there and I feel like it just gives me a chance because I'm, I'm pretty good inside like 80 yards. Um, but I say, inside from definitely 105 yards to about 125 yards, I could get a lot better. 
because I prefer hitting longer shots in as well. I feel like my but longer But it'd be more like par key. fours where you experience this based on the way they set up the LPGA. Yeah, I prefer the when they play the golf courses longer. That, yeah. That's usually yeah. when it, I play my best. Like the harder the golf course is. Where, where's the wind? Down off the left? Well, the, yes. the wind is the wind is a no one really knows at it this looks, point. It looks yeah. like it's just pretty pray. much left to right. Yeah. How far? One fifteen. Yeah, one seventeen playing one twenty. I guess we got a bit of up too. Oh, there you go. That's a beauty. Go in. Don't move, hole. Ooh. Lovely. A long, but Lovely. I'm, I'm done with that one. Lovely. <laughs> Charlie the gamer always. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not shocking. <laughs> so look, Higgsy, I have some stats. Talk to me, Charlie. I have yeah. some stats, and bring out I the numbers. I want to bring you in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I want you to. I mean, we've got these guys hold with my us. Club. I'll hold your club. Hold I can do club. that. But what <laughs> questions? How do you work on this as a player? It's I mean, not I'll be honest forte. with you. We we have, uh, you know, end of year meetings. Coach, my brother, who's also my caddy, and this is a glaring weakness. I have been. Maybe I'll get in on these meetings. <laughs> well, you, you can come with your little sheet of paper and everything. You know, there's. You'd be a little underprepared for how prepared they okay, actually good, are, but that's good. fine. Um, but no, this is a glad thing. You know, the last two years I've been right around 200th on tour, which there aren't really, there's maybe 250 guys that want to play. So it's just not very good. This is an area I've struggled with. One, 100 to 125. Um, and I literally, uh, two months ago, before the fall season kind of kicked off and we started playing, uh, I grabbed a, a bunch of balls, went to different gaps at 100 to 125. And I literally just practiced hitting the green. I putt it good enough. You know, I've, I make a ton of birdies. So if I just get the ball on the green a little quicker, in theory, I will do better. My struggle with these shots is really not tactically. It's not that I'm like going at every flag or anything, but I do just go through spurts where I struggle to strike it consistently enough to get the ball to go the appropriate distance. Because here, to, to be, to have Sergio's stats, you have to strike it consistently enough be able to control your trajectory enough to get the ball whole high, right? Like it's hard to miss it right or left from this area for any one of us, but you can miss it long and short. And then you get into some issues and, you know, Sergio stats would say he's going to hit the ball whole high. He's going to probably hit it within 15, 18 feet at most. And so he has given himself more birdie looks than I have in this area. So it is certainly, it is a understood deficiency. It is being worked on and hopefully will turn into a strength. And I've also gone through spurts where I've hit a lot of these shots very good. It's just unfortunate that my my bad is just not very good at all. <laughs> and we need to try to eliminate some of the bad. Uh, you've given me a pretty but, good- But you must be doing something very good other than this. Sure. You're playing the way you're playing. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I, I have made up for it in other areas, but <laughs> as you both know, the more birdie putts you have, the a little easier this game can wind up being. And I do not like having six feet for par when I'm 120 yards away from the hole. Sometimes you just have to deal with it and you just have to hold that six footer, go to the next hole, go to the next hole. Um, here, Trotty, you've given me a pretty good number. Uh, these two fine athletes gave me a decent understanding of the wind and how I'm supposed to hit this. So let's see how we Show do. Us. Let's see how we do. And now that has been the miss, the short and right. So how, as advice then, you got two play, great players to do. Sure. What advice would you give to another fellow tour player in this scenario who's looking to improve a certain area? They know it needs improvement. Obviously, you two great at this, but what would you give? What would be your... I just, I, I was actually struggling. Like, it used to be one of the strengths of my game, and then I was struggling it, like, last year. And all I just done was just work on it. Like, yeah. just put cones down and work on it. And then you get your confidence up, and sure. then you can either start thinking about holding them. Like, I know it sounds oh, odd, yeah. but, like, you just, that's the kind of mindset that I got into. And, like, um, I, I, I used to miss them right, a bit skinny and a bit right. And it was because, like, I didn't, didn't used to turn for it properly. So my swing thought now is just keep my right shoulder turning through it. And yeah. I've been hitting them right lately. Yeah. yeah. No, it's true. <laughs> Look no further. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, perfect. And, like, you were saying, 
contact is important yeah. Yeah, because I, with with good contact then you can control your ball flight how you how you want sure. it how you need it depending on the wind or the the, the situation 100 so, percent. yeah when when we're striking it nicely we can do whatever we want i find i kind of screw up my strikes is i don't really like to hit a lot of full wedges i like to hit sure like if i had the choice choices here in a three quarter sandwich three quarter um, gap wedge or a full sandwich i'd much rather hit the three quarter gap wedge i just find my strike's always a lot better yeah. than trying to... Yeah, you move it, hit it yeah. harder. And yeah. that also is going to bring the ball up in the air and mm -hmm. it's going to add more spin. Yeah, and that's and that's one thing that you, you know, you can improve by obviously practicing, making sure that you, you're able to get those things, that, that, that good contact. And also at the same time, like we were saying, if the greens are, if the greens are soft, it's very important to be able to hit shots that hit and stop. Yes. So unless you really need a lot of spin because the flag is tagged in a spot that you need to hit it fast and bring it bring it back a lot, it's difficult to control uh, sure. eight, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten yard spin. Yeah, yeah. So, spin is always bringing, almost always bringing the ball further away from the hole. True. Very rare that you can keep a ball spinning towards the hole. Yeah. I mean, with with that much spin. Yeah. Yes. So how do you control yeah. it then? Get shallower or pick a club that you're not hitting full? Correct. Okay. The club that you want hit full, like yeah. three-quarter shot, bring yep. the spin down. And then golf ball choice for you, does that come into, is that a big thing? When you test a new golf ball, do you start here? Because this is a good point of your game, so will you start in this area? Yes, okay, definitely. Okay, before you move back there. Definitely, it's, it's uh, for me here, it'll be important to, to see the spin and also to see the window where I'm hitting my wedges, making sure that my window is where I want to see them and it doesn't shoot up too, too high. Uh, you know, I can always hit them high, if I can, if I'm able to keep them low, then I know that, that yeah. it's going to work know, well. You've got yeah. a, a good wedge, a good ball. Yeah. All right. So Charlie says, Come keep on. my right shoulder turning through it. Sergio just yeah. said, hit it solid. Give me a Charlie. Give me a Charlie yeah. swing. I like my chances. Yeah, the wind got a little better. bit. Wind just got a little All bit. All right, it's better. on the green. That's the start. <laughs> it's on the green. But you see, I mean. Pro golfers miss greens with wedges as well. Unfortunately, we like to do yeah. it. We, do, we don't like to do it often. We like to do it very little. Yeah. And then uh, Sergio is nice miss. So we can. Well, like, we can close out with Sergio hitting yeah. a couple of close ones. Yeah. I want to watch. I want to watch the strike. It's. All right. Let me hit. Let me watch hit. and listen to the strike. Do you have a shape against the wind or just go with the wind? Um, it depends a little bit. For me, I usually like to shape it. From the middle of the green towards the flag both ways so if the pin is on the right i'll try to shape it a little but obviously if it's wind if there's wind then you might have to kind of maneuver that a little bit because you know like i don't want to start this ball too way too far left cutting it with the wind so um so it's just uh depends a little bit on the situation but Was better. Still short, lovely. Ah, a little short cutting that yeah. slope. The wind's definitely gone more. The wind's across. going all over yeah. the place. Yeah. Yeah. When we first come, it was definitely down more. The wind's going all over the place. Sadly. So a lot of good tour player excuses coming. Yeah. Out well, this is what happens, <laughs> especially with wedges yeah. and not hitting them close to the hole. It's I'm rarely our fault. You can always blame something. Yeah, baby. Now hit it wind. There it is. Hole high and catch the slope. That's definitely a caddy's fault. You got to get him to get it coming down just right. I'm up. just gonna let him keep pulling balls yeah. until he gets them super tight. Well, I want to. I want to hear the strike. I mean, it's come on, very it's crisp, very it clean. I give yeah. you that. Well, narrow start... stance, Sergio. I know it's never. Yeah, I've always had. Always a bit of a narrow that. stand. Yeah. Uh, a little thin, but my work. Consistently catching that slope. Yeah. Who cut this hole in this spot today, Trotty? All right. I'm, I'll take the blame. Yeah. The, the greenkeeper oh. isn't here, so yeah. I'll take it. 
So you'd never look at flying this past. Isn't there a slope behind it? Well, it looks like it runs away behind it yeah. as well. It mm. looks like we're literally trying to hit this on a shelf. Strike. Yeah. Okay, now if that doesn't stay there, then this is impossible. And just okay best look but you see that i mean you see his tri strike charlie was one for one struck it beautifully walked off the wind. Smart yeah walk play. off <laughs> that's the that's what i am working to achieve is that consistency in strike sergio's balls all came out of the same window you know there was a couple wind gusts here and there um even my first one was not great and it was a little lower and right the second one was better but it also got up in the air a little bit more and drifted on the wind so you see the difference stats show this man strikes it uh just about the exact same every time out of the same window i have certainly gone through moments where i do that same thing i need to work to be doing it as consistently as he does it and clearly charlie does it all the time she was one for one and that was that <laughs> i think this shows it as well right look at how consistent that sure. is sure yeah good stuff always pick up something Appreciate it, guys. Thank you very Cheers. much. Thank you.